2.1, Basics of Functions and Their Graphs. Use the graph to determine the following, the function's domain. All right. Two point one basics of functions and their graphs. Use the graph to determine the, the uh, following: the function's domain. Okay, domain are at x values, and in this case, it looks like it starts right here. This is the lowest x value, which would be zero, and we're going to include zero because it's a solid circle, and it keeps going all the way to the right until this point right here. But notice that this one's not filled in, so we're not going to include that x value. Okay, so the x value of one two, three, right? So it goes to three, but it does not include three, so we're going to use a parenthesis. It does not include three, the three, the, there's a circle there, which means it does not include that point. There's a hole. Now we're looking at range. Range are the y values. The smallest y value looks like it's right there, or a negative one. Now in this case, it is solid, so we include the negative one by using the bracket, and then it goes all the way up to this point right here, which looks like an eight but it does not include 8, so we use a parenthesis. 